Hey guys, and recently a few people have requested me to do a video on how to identify an ant queen. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys a few general techniques you can use to distinguish queen ants from workers. This advice can be applied to most species of ants. Anyways, let's begin. The first and most obvious difference is the thorax. In most queens, the thorax is bigger than the head, and there are clearly visible scars where the wings once were. Yes, queen ants do have wings. If you have found an ant with wings, it is either a queen or a male. The difference? Well, males look a lot more like wasps, with the thin, pointed abdomen and a tiny head. The queens, however, are double the size of males and have a plump abdomen. Overall, they are extremely fat and have a bulkier frame. Another difference the queens have from workers is that they like to run sporadically, unlike their worker counterparts, who often walk neatly in line with other workers. They also like to dart into random crevices and then back out again, as if to inspect it. Nuptial flights are where winged males and queens, called elates, swarm the air in a mating frenzy. These occur most often after rainstorms, and these are the only times you will ever get to catch any queens. And when I say swarm, I literally mean thousands of queens all over the ground. But these flights only occur a few times a year, and only last for a few short hours. And as a side note, most nuptial flights happen during summer, so that's the best time to go anting. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Queen ants are more fat in general compared to workers, and are most common in summer, on hot days after a rainstorm. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this video.